Hi, everybody. I'm Michael Murphy. I'm the executive director and founder of Mass Design Group. And my big idea is to change architecture to radically improve our lives and radically improve our health. We want to change the definition of architecture to improve our health. How are we going to do this? I think we can do this in two ways. First, we build influential architecture that shows improvements in health and affects policy globally. And secondly, we train the next generation of architects to think about the role of architecture in improving health. And where do we start? We start with the most vulnerable communities. Take the continent of Africa, for example. In the continent of Africa, seven of the 10 fastest growing economies are here. And the most rapidly urbanizing cities are also going to be in Africa over the next 30 years. And yet in the entire continent of Africa, there are 1,200 licensed architects and planners when you take out the major cities of uh, Nairobi and Lagos and Cairo and Johannesburg. Compare that to Italy, which has 120,000 licensed architects and planners today, a hundredfold the amount. What happens when our cities that are growing are not designed? Epidemic outbreaks of cholera, cholera for example, have emerged in places like Port-au-Prince and Haiti. Uh, new strands of diseases like multidrug-resistant tuberculosis are emerging in hospitals uh, because they weren't designed to deal with infection control. And of course, one billion people are living in slums currently, which will only increase fourfold as the population of the subcontinent increases over the next 50 years. Our organization has started to address this in Rwanda, where we started a fellowship program uh, to train the next generation of African architects. When I got there in 2008, there were eight licensed architects working in the country. Now the first school of architecture has trained the first 25. And next year, the next 25 uh, will be complete. So 58 architects now, some of them working with us today. Our goal over the next 10 years is to increase this 100-fold. Having 100 design architects working with us focused on health and the built environment and how design can improve the lives of those around us. So what I want to leave you with today is next time you look at architecture, think not what architecture is, but what architecture does. And if we ask what architecture does, we can then ask what architecture can do to improve our health. Thank you very much.